They're going to find Sonny guilty. He won't get away with what he's done to you. I won't let him. Hey. Hi. Do you sleep okay? Yeah. Yeah, thank you for the couch. And thank you for not letting John McBain drag me back to Landview. I think you don't get to the grocery store often. Oh, I'm uh, actually surprised you found anything in there. I hope you like scrambled eggs. Oh, uh, no, Star, you don't have to do that. It's okay. No, 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 no. I want to. But this, this couch isn't even that comfortable, really. It was free. And not to mention, I put you in a really awkward position. Your father asked you to stay away from me. It's not his call. Okay, just like you staying in town isn't that cops. He was actually a really good guy. Seriously? Yeah. He's helped me and my family more times than I can even count. That's all he's trying to do now. Oh, what's up with him and my, uh, my dad? What do you mean? Well, he seems really focused on um, nailing him. I didn't understand. He's a good cop. When a crime's committed, he demands justice. Okay, but it, it just it seems like there's more to it than that. Probably because there is. Practically like a father to call. Yeah, someone said that in the courtroom that day. Yeah, he wants justice for Cole and Hope almost as much as I do. Well, look, it's in the hands of the court now, right? Soon enough, it'll all be over. One way or another. So, uh, you gonna go home after the trial? I might go back to Landview, or... I haven't even really thought about it. I'll never be home again. Shouldn't be dumping us on you. No, they asked you to stay. It's okay. I didn't leave you much choice. Well, I wasn't gonna let McBain drag you out of here. Don't worry about John. As soon as the trial is over, he'll be gone. He has a family to get home to. Oh, well, considering what you had to work with, it was amazing. I'm good at improvising. Is there cheese in here? Yes. Huh? But don't worry. I checked the sell by date, so we at least have a couple hours. Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> Thank you. You, uh, you cook often? <laughs> yeah, when you have a kid. One second I'm talking about eggs, and then the next second... And then she reminded about all the meals you used to have. All the restaurants she used to go to. That's the worst part. You know, how it just blindsides you. There weren't many meals or restaurants. Actually, not with the three of us. Did your boyfriend work a lot or something? Or something. He was in prison for murder, but not the way you would think. He, he killed someone who was very dangerous, and Colt was just trying to protect us. Well, I get it. You do? Yeah. Yeah, more than you can imagine. So, um, he obviously got out. He, Cole, from prison. Yeah. Not the way you should have. Was he on the run? Not really. No one was looking for him. They thought he was dead. And now he really is. Uh, he had to change his name so that no one would find us. And that night that we were in the car, we were joking about which name I would use if... If what? Before the crash, Cole asked me to marry him. This joke. Except it wasn't really funny. We would call each other Starcross lovers. Because your name. 
<laughs> Cole said he didn't want us to be star-crossed anymore. He wanted us to spend the rest of our lives together. And then before you know it, the headlights. And that was that. Okay. Pretend. No headlights, no accident. Cole asked you to marry him. And what would you have said? Hey, Michael, you in there? It's my Uncle Jason. Michael! <laughs> 